All right, back on the main page, we're gonna take a look at the different microphone perspectives and the controls down below. So this section right here is divided into nine microphone perspectives, and they're all listed up top here, kind of where they are. And there's a description down below. So hammer is right at the hammer uh, parts of the piano, right up top. Then you got inside the piano, and then outside, and then another outside mono microphone. Ambisonics, which we'll explain later on. Player perspective, which is right at the head of the player near binaural. Underneath the piano with some beautiful ribbon microphones. Sound great. Uh, another ribbon microphone outside the piano and then a room over here. So you got nine kind of choices to play with plus variations of each of those. So uh, let's just take a look at how you can use all of that on the main page. So right now, depending on what your settings are, I've selected something and then let's go over to I'll uh, just add some sort of reverb. I'm just looking for something that I like here. And let's just take a look at the settings. Okay, and that should be fine. So uh, with none of these turned on, you're not going to hear anything. If you command click on the Mac or whatever the equivalent on the PC is, then you'll get the hammer mics at their unity volume, which is neither adding nor subtracting, which is usually a good place to start. And then up top is reverb, so depending on what you have for the reverb level. And obviously that's way too much reverb, we'll back that off. Now, the cool part about when I set up the reverb, as I'm moving around in my chair here getting comfy, um, you'll notice that if I pull down the microphone perspective but not turn it off, you'll see on the mixer setting as well how far down that you are. Um, you'll barely hear the, the microphone, but you'll hear the reverb still. And this is kind of cool in a mix situation because you can choose which microphone is sending to the reverb and which one you actually hear. So then if I go command click on the inside, What's happening is there's no reverb coming from this inside mic, or at least being sent, but it's uh, the reverb is happening off of the hammer mics. So, so it's going to be like a very um, upfront, forward type reverb, just as an example. So I'm going to turn that reverb off and turn this off and just bring you through the different microphone perspectives and kind of what they sound like. Hammer's going to be uh, nice and forward. And then by comparison, if we move over, here's your inside microphones. And all my lamps and everything are moving as I bang on the piano. And outside with the reverb, I can kill the reverb on that and hear it again. Um, all of these first three microphone perspectives are what you'd consider to be um, natural, normal piano recording type things that you'd expect on like a workstation or um, pop recordings. Mono. Uh, this is the mono just outside the piano. Uh, at first, you may not like that sound on its own, but blended into a, a mix or an arrangement. I'm just going to take down the release a little bit as I'm here. That blended into an arrangement, that will sound good, as well as adding the outsides back in. This gives like a center image to the sound, so... skip the ambisonics for a moment and we'll come back to it here's a player perspective this is going to be if we take a look at those mics just outside of the, the player would be and uh, underneath the piano I'm, I'm secretly in love with these microphones don't tell anybody have um, this body of the piano without all the uh, annoying, I don't know if it's annoying tone, but it's they have less of the mechanical noise, but the mechanical noise is just masked a little bit more because we're underneath the piano. 
Those are RCA uh, 77 ribbon microphones and um, really nice choice on that one. Uh, here are ribbons outside the piano, not underneath. This is Royer uh, SF24 microphones. Because this is a ribbon um, blum line, uh, it's not doesn't have as wide as these next ones, which are AKG 414s on the room. These are classic 414s, not the modern ones. Could be wrong, but I think these have the brass capsules on them. So very similar to the. C12 microphones from AKG. Um, nice tone, beautiful. When you combine that with my opinion and with the player perspective, you're really getting a nice tone together. It just has that little bit of extra room in there. And if you wanted to add some warmth to that sound, this is, I'm getting a little bit creative here. You can add a little bit of the EQ tape simulation going back to the mixer. And then we get that. So all that kind of added in. Now you have to excuse my chair squeaks and so on. Back to that main page so we know what we're doing. I'm gonna turn off the master effects. Getting carried away, I just love this stuff. Okay, uh, moving on. Um, we already did the under and the room, so there you go. That's pretty much everything we need to take a look at there. We've got some reverb as well. Reverb settings are set up on either the mixer page or on the settings page. 